Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Gypsy from Broken Barbie TV, and today I've got some very special dolls to show you guys. So, I happened to stumble upon these dolls at my local Toys R Us. When I say local, that place was an hour away from where I live, but I guess it's local enough. I saw a bunch of other ones there from this line. Let me just show you which ones I saw in my store. Okay. Alright, so the first four dolls I saw there. I also saw, not the redhead one, but the next three, the Asian girl and boy, and her. Doesn't she look like... Uh, if you guys watched my IG Live video, then you would have seen the doll in person, so to speak. She looks like the Millie head sculpt to me, just with brown skin. So, Millie is... Millie is this face sculpt. She looks like she has the same sculpt to me. I don't know. We'll have to take a closer look at that one to see if I was right or wrong. Um, sometimes, depending on the face up, like the dolls look different to me than they actually are. But I think that is a Millie head sculpt. Okay, and then I also saw this black guy, obviously, with the cornrows. I saw the Tango sculpt that's next to him. The little short Asian one. This curvy Barbie, which I've got. I saw him. I saw her. This one, this one, this one, and that one. So the only two that I think we didn't see there was her and her, the blonde. Everyone else was at the Toys R Us store that I went to. For some reason, I thought there were more guys in this line, but... I guess a lot of those guys are supposed to be released in 2018 that I'm thinking of. So maybe that's why. Yeah, I'm a little confused. But we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there's supposed to be new seven new guy dolls, and I did see all of them at my Toys R Us. Of the seven, the three we wanted the most were these three. So we purchased them, and of the girls, the ones that we decided to get was her. And I did want the Kira head sculpt, which is this little short one here. Um, as you can see, we only have two petite dolls in this line for 2017, which is a little bit unusual, is it? I don't know. But we only have two of them, and they both are the Asian girls, so isn't that a little bit uh, interesting? But, um... Yeah, so I had an interest in her because I really want the that head sculpt. It's the same sculpt they use for the Mutia Barbie, which I already know is like way too expensive for me to venture into that realm. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? She will be a nice little uh, substitute for Mutia. And I did want to get that doll, but the reason why I didn't buy her in the store was because I forgot that I had ordered that doll. And she was already shipped, so I can't cancel that order. So... Since it's the same price at Mattel, I just decided to keep um, the Mattel version when they send it to me. So I'm just going to wait for that instead of the in-store version. But anyways, let's go ahead and open up some of these dolls. So we've got this guy. And for some reason on his box, it doesn't say which doll he is. But he is the one on the um, website that is labeled as Distressed Denim. So that's him. Okay, and I'm going to turn on my bright lights um, after I take them out of the boxes. I just don't like the glare, so this is why I don't have my lights on right now. Trust me, this is much better than having my lights on, you guys. And then this one, with his little Malibu shirt and his broad body. Both of those guys were broad body types. And he is... Um, I think they call him Camo Cool or something to that effect. I'll have it up on the screen, the correct names for the dolls. And here is the last guy that we got with his cornrow braids. And he is number 10 in the series and I don't remember what the hell they call him on the website, but his name will be up on the screen for you guys. Okay. And then this girl with Skipper's head sculpt. Alright, so let's open up some of these dolls. Off the rip, I just want to show you guys something cool that they have done differently with these dolls 
is they did not attach the boy's heads to the packing with those annoying plastic cables. They don't have the plastic cables, you guys. So you don't have to worry about holes in their head because they do have really cool hairstyles. And I know so many people would be really, really disappointed and annoyed if they found out that their dolls had big giant holes in the back of their heads. And then they have the ties like kind of wrapped around the dolls instead to keep them attached to the packaging. So I like that way better. <sighs> All right, unfortunately with the girl, they did use the plastic cables to tie her head down to the um, backing. So I guess they only did it with the boys not using the cable ties for their head. Ugh, so disappointing. Okay, so here's one guy. And here's his hairstyle. His hair is molded. All of them have molded hair. And it just looks like it's kind of like slicked over to one side. Here's his profile. His face sculpt is a brand new one. It's very distinct. Um, as you can see, his nose is like really pronounced. And he almost looks like he's got an underbite. The way that his jaw looks. So that's interesting. And it looks like he's got like maybe green or hazel eyes yeah it's not blue there there's definitely some green tones in there green and brown kind of a uh, outline and his lips are i think they're a pretty neutral color it doesn't appear pink in person and it's not glossy so i like that he's very uh manly looking and he's really good looking. His outfit is a two-piece. He's got on this long sleeve shirt that says Malibu on the front. And it's got the sleeves and the back of the shirt are gray. And then the front here is white. And he's got on some pants that are Velcro opening in the back. And they're pulled up pretty damn high. I mean, jeez. Um, and I am going to take their clothes off so you guys can see their bodies. So this is what the shorts look like. And he's got on some plain white loafers. Um, I feel like we've seen this style already on previous guy dolls. Like, I don't remember who, but definitely seen those before. Um, actually, they might have came in fashion packs. Okay, so there's that dude. Now let's move on to Miel. Yeah, we already named him during our IG Live video at the store. Um, I'm noticing with my doll though, his face is a little uneven. Can you guys tell that his face is uneven? Wow, his eyes and his eyebrows are completely just off. Why did I pick this one? <laughs> I don't think I was paying attention because I was like talking to you guys during the IG session but eh, it's not a big deal I'm probably just gonna end up repainting his face any housers so yeah because I'm gonna customize him I think I'm gonna end up shutting his mouth his lips are a little too smiley for me and I think I'm gonna just end up closing it so we'll have to see but um, I like his head mold though I do like how he was painted he looks pretty cool and he's got on this shirt with like a tribal print on it and it's like two tones of blue and he's got denim pants that are distressed and you can see here those patterns but it's just print it's not like actual texture here uh, and it's faded in the back we've got velcro again and he does have the broad body type just like his dude over here and let me just show you his man bun, as you guys like to call it. <laughs> I don't know if you have to be so specific about whether it's a man bun or a woman's bun, but it's a bun. The style of his little ponytail. And yeah, you can touch it. It's squishy, kind of. You could probably chop it off if you didn't want it there. Although, I don't know, I like it. And he's got like the sides shaved down. So pretty cool. You could probably paint that different colors if you wanted to. Change them up a little bit. Tan, and as you can see, quite textured. 
I don't know why, maybe this is my Asperger's kicking in, but something about this texture is freaking me out. I don't like the way it looks. It looks very creepy. I don't know. It's like dots and ugh, I don't know. It just reminds me of like something really weird and slimy for some reason. I don't know if I like that. I can't keep looking at it. All right, that's really strange. I don't know what those textures are supposed to resemble. Okay, and then here's my favorite guy of the three, um, of all of them from the 2017 line, of course. And this dude is the cornrow dude. And we've already seen Mattel introducing the cornrow hairstyle to us in bits and pieces on the Bumblebee doll and on the Zig and Zag fashion-y stuff from last year. So they kind of just kept the concept and did it um, instead of just on half of your head, on your whole head with this guy. And I don't know why they didn't been done did it before. I feel like it's long overdue. The hairstyle, just everything about it, it just seems very overdue. But finally, they did. He's probably the darkest complexion of these three. They're all three of them are different complexions. So the Malibu guy, he's got the lightest complexion. And then Miguel has the uh, middle tone is like tan and then this guy is the brown complexion that's the same as the Texas A&M Ken so thankfully if you have any of those spares laying around then you can absolutely put him on those uh, bodies and his pants are like some I don't know what kind of pants these are supposed to be like the texture I mean they don't feel like any particular texture They're just like polyester or something and then his shirt looks like a very simple white button-up short sleeve and he's got an attached um, tie the tie is sewn onto his shirt so you can't take it off and then there's this little plastic cable that's holding it in place which you can just snip off if you don't like it there I don't like that it's white and here are his shoes very funky not sure if I've seen this style on a Ken before but I don't recall and it's kind of squishy and it is silver it's not just gray I mean it's metallic the color is shiny so I like that so I like his whole color scheme I think his outfit is pretty neat and I like the simplicity of his outfit because it's like something you can um, switch around with different things like that Malibu top would probably look really cool with these pants only thing is, his body type is a little different. He's got the regular Ken body type, so I'm not sure that their clothes will fit on one another. I mean, the bigger clothes can probably fit on him, but I don't know that his clothes will fit on them. Probably not. And then we've got this lovely lady with her very bright platinum blonde hair. It is like almost silver. I mean, it's damn near white. It's not like regular blonde hair for Barbie dolls. Only thing about her hair that really, really irks me is this. Look at this. And I noticed when she was in the box that there was like some dark undertones in her, in the roots. And I was like, what is that? Well, here's what it is. Her scalp has been painted black. Why? Mattel, why? Why did you paint her freaking head black? I don't know how that makes any sense when you're parting her hair. Like, why would you want her scalp to be black I just don't get that it's a little weird um I feel like they would have been better off keeping the same kind of gray kind of color for the scalp or just saying screw it and keep her scalp color um her actual skin color there that would have probably been better I don't know what on earth they were thinking making her scalp black is ridiculous and she does have green eyes and glossy lips speaking of lips Seriously though, he's got pink lips. Uh, that's gotta go. I'm gonna erase that and redo his lips, but they are pretty juicy. So she's got some little stud earrings, cute. And she's got on this one piece dress. It's like a mini dress, no collar. Opens with Velcro in the back. The material is like kind of stretchy and it has, it's really thin. And there's like, I don't know, it's not stiff. It's got a very thin type of material. I like that. It's like nice and breezy and cool. And here's her high heel shoes. And she does appear to have high heel feet. 
So I'm not going to get too in depth with her body and all of that because she is a curvy body type and we already know a lot about the curvy body types and you can go back and watch some of my um, reviews on the curvy dolls if you really want to get details on that body type but what I am interested in are their bodies so we're gonna take these clothes off because I have not seen the broad body type um, that they have and I want to kind of compare them to Superman because I feel like the Superman body type is probably the closest thing we have to a broad at this moment so here's how he looks with no clothes on and as you can see from the side he does appear to have a little bit of a stomach compared to Ken but it's not like bulging it's just not washboard and all these little smudges and stuff this is from um, the clothing probably and being handled at the warehouse wherever it is they keep these dolls and now I'm trying to pull his legs apart from each other to see how far apart they can go this is as far as the legs will part um, from side to side so he doesn't have that much flexibility here and then they do bend like this at the hips so that he can sit and as we are used to seeing our fashionistas have very limited articulation thankfully the broad guys they didn't put them in some stupid stance some weird pose like they'd be liking to do um, so that's a plus so you don't have to worry about that added stress of trying to figure out how to like seat them and stuff like that with their weird bodies but his skin tone t looks like it would match almost any regular white Ken that has articulation so if you have like a Divergent doll or um, Peta or Finnick from The Hunger Games any of those type of dolls or even Life in the Dream House Ken dolls with articulated bodies and you just can't stand this you could absolutely switch their heads and also just for added uh, accuracy I want to show you guys how he compares to Superman his head looks a little bit longer than Superman's but I do think that he is the same color so I think you could if you have a spare Superman you could probably just switch their heads same type of you know joints here with the neck pegs and we're just gonna pop his head onto Superman's so we can see what it looks like there we go yep yeah I think it's fine so if you want to have him articulated then here is a really great made to move style body that you can use for that and other than his closed palms of course it's like you know come on it's Mattel you gotta you gotta take some and then you gotta lose some with them so we're already kind of used to that at this point but now you know what he looks like with articulation okay you guys so I did try the clothes on the Superman body type and lo and behold the shirt does fit it's a little tight but it fits and then the pants, very surprised to find that the pants actually are quite large on Superman. Look how much space I have. It's big. Look, I can just slip it on and off. But I'm not disappointed by that. I'm actually happy that the pants are bigger because at least we know it will fit. So I can actually live with that. I'm glad that the pants are a little bit, long, um, a little bit larger. And if you can sew, you can probably attach some more velcro onto the pants or some elastic or something so you can cinch it in a little bit if you really need to but it's not really a big deal so i think i might end up getting either batman or another superman doll at some point so you can have a permanent body because i do like my superman doll dino who i do plan on uh animating with and i kind of want him to have his um body he is much broader in the midsection than the Superman doll so now we know that very cool and this guy not sure if y'all can tell but he is a very very light shade darker than this other one without the head so he's like kind of tan he's probably the same complexion as the made-to-move blue top doll 
just so y'all can have an idea of what skin tone he is. But as far as I know, we do not currently have any articulated uh, Kens who this body would go with. So I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do, you guys. I guess he'll just have to be stiff for a little while. But his face, oh lord, I should have paid better attention to which one I picked out because his face is so lopsided. I'm going to have to just redo his whole face. But anyways, pretty cool. And then with her, one other thing I did want to show you all was that she is the same complexion as Made to Move Pink Top, which I have a spare of. So I'm going to rebody her and let you guys see what she looks like with the pink top body. But I do really like her as a curvy doll. I think she's really cute on this curvy body. So I'm probably going to end up just keeping her on this. But we'll see what happens. Alright, so I do have her on a made-to-move body at the moment. She's still wearing her original dress. I just wanted to see how it looked on a regular body type um, that wasn't curvy. And see if it's like really, really loose. It doesn't appear to be really loose. I mean, she can get away with it, but this is not like a sexy look or anything. <laughs> not on this body type. She's like she's in pajamas, um, to be honest. But I just want to see what it would look like. Yeah, I don't mind her on this body at all. I think she looks pretty cute, and I love to see her posable. But to be completely honest, I do prefer her on her original body type. I just wish that that body had some articulation. Um, I will show you guys that this body, which is her original body, she has a slightly bent arm. It's not like super, super, you know, arm on your hip type of thing, but... She does have one bent arm, it's slightly bent, so I just wanted to point that out. It doesn't bother me too much, it kind of reminds me a little bit of those um, Barbies we used to play with in the early 90s that had bent arms, but it's not like crazy, so, and then her legs are straight, so that doesn't, that doesn't seem too bad. Okay, let me just show you guys this really, really quick. So, I took down her hair. And I told you that they have the black paint on the scalp, which is so ridiculous. The way that her hair is rooted, it's rooted so that you can keep it up in this ponytail. And it's like parted in a triangular shape here at the front. So the way the hair is supposed to lay is kind of like this. Like you have to kind of part it near that side that's already been parted in her ponytail. Um, which is fine because she doesn't have bangs. But the problem is when you brush the hair back, this here in the middle, this triangle part that was in the ponytail is very, very uh, sparsely rooted. It's not dense at all, so you can easily see that black scalp. And if you try to part the hair somewhere in here, then you're going to see that black scalp and it's going to look really ugly and strange. So I'm not sure what the hell they were trying to do with this hairstyle, but it's bizarre to me. Um, I feel like I'm going to end up having to paint this part of her scalp with colors similar to this to blend in the hair, but that is ridiculous. So just letting y'all know that I noticed that and that you're probably going to have to tweak this a little bit if you're into customizing and whatnot and you want to keep the hair parted either to that side or to this side where the other side of her little triangular part was that was up in that ponytail you know what I'm saying she's gonna need a perpetual side part in order to camouflage that better so otherwise she's a cool doll I do like the head sculpt a lot and I like the hair color a lot too because they haven't really used um, this type of hair color on a doll like this like a young doll maybe on a doll that was supposed to be like a grandmom or an older person but not on a young doll so I think that's kind of refreshing and that's why I did like this doll. Overall, what do you guys think about these um, new Fashionista dolls? And of course, there's like a bunch more in this line that are available in the stores and online. I'm not sure what other stores carry them at this time. I've only seen them in Toys R Us. Some people have been rumoring to say that they are appearing in some Walmart stores too. And Walmart is cheaper. So if you see them in a Walmart, I suggest you just get them from Walmart because they're cheaper. But for those of you who can't um, find these dolls in your local areas, check the description box. I might have some links there of places you can get them online. And 
Let me know which of the dolls that you guys are interested in purchasing from this particular line. And make sure you're following us on Instagram because those of you who do know that we did shoot a live video at the store while we were shopping for these dolls. Don't miss out on those exclusive moments with Broken Barbie TV. And I gotta thank you guys for watching. Of course, as always, I want you all to absolutely go and have yourselves a dolly day.